DJU and the Oregon State Beavers. They're going to make their way to the upstart Arizona Wildcats Saturday night, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. Hey, look, we got to get in as much good Pac-12 after dark as possible this season while we still got it, right? Oregon State is a three-and-a-half point road favorite, minus 105 at BetUS, with a current total of 56 and a half. These teams last played in 2019. That was a 56-38 Beaver win in Tucson. Uh, Oregon State is 3-1 and one against the spread in their last four as a road favorite. Arizona is 0-4 straight up, but 2-2 two and two against the spread in their last four as a home dog. The Wildcats, 4-0 and o against the spread overall as an underdog this season, though. Parker, starting with you, I, uh, I see a glaring hole in that Arizona defense in the last four weeks. While, while they overall aren't great on that side, they're number 121 PPA allowed per play. Their run defense has been incredibly suspect. Uh, number 129 PPA per rush, number 119 rushing success allowed. That is not what you want against the Beavers. Oregon State is number nine in standard downs PPA in the last four weeks. Arizona's defense, number 110. It feels like Oregon State can stay ahead of the chains basically all night. Uh, what, what do your numbers say on this one? Yeah, I, I'm actually a little bit higher on Arizona than I want to be. Um, just in terms of the numbers, I had them favored against West Virginia. They didn't play West Virginia. Washington State had a favor against Washington State the other day, and uh, I, I think their underlying metrics are, are okay, but I do agree they're, they're a little bit rough on the defense side of the ball. 91st in echo rate allowed, 99th in starting field position. Here, a little extracurricular in the back, uh, back there. I apologize to everyone. Uh, and uh, but, but one thing that I think that they really struggle with that Oregon State does well is their 69th in third and fourth down success rate. Uh, Allowed Oregon State is 28th in third and fourth down success rate on offense. I think that gives them a very long leash here to uh, to be able to clean up on those late downs if they can't get past those early downs EPA there. So um, do think that that's the matchup that matters. Uh, Arizona's uh, offense is, you know, getting better a little bit every week and looks pretty fun. Oregon State's defense is just fine, 56th in EPA per play. Uh, so we'll see how Oregon State can kind of test this Arizona defense. Uh, both of these teams coming off a bye here. I, I got to tell you, I, I think the Arizona hype has gone a little bit far, right? Oregon State fighting for a Pac-12 title game berth, and I, I feel like they've got the team to do it. Arizona got close against USC and Washington. They beat up on a, a down Washington State team that was dealing with a bunch of injuries that week. This is a different animal here, right? It, we, we've said before, styles make fights. Uh, Kyle, what, what are you seeing in this one? Well, I mean, at first, I do have to say, Noah Fafita has been amazing. I mean, oh, yeah. great stuff from him. Uh, 34 for 43 passing against Washington State. Jaden Delora wasn't bad, but uh, Fafita has been an upgrade from him. You know, I, I thought I was surprised because, you know, I consider Delora a pretty decent quarterback, but Fafita has been excellent, really efficient on offense. Uh, the Arizona defense has definitely been better. Justin Flo has helped out. Um, this is a Arizona defense that's not bad, but Oregon State's a big challenge for them. As I said earlier, I think Oregon State's not given enough credit for how good they are on offense. They may not score the most points because they play slower, but they're very efficient. And then look at their games in the four Pac-12 games. They have 66 plays of 10 yards or more. That's excellent. I mean, they have been very good. Maybe not the 50-yard gains, but they are consistently getting some big plays, relatively big plays. And they're 10th in the nation in yards per play on offense. Their balance is great. Uh, they've been able to pass plenty. Their run game is excellent. Their offensive line is probably top 10 in the country. Uh, both teams had a bye week to get ready for this game. So while I don't really want to bet this game, Larry, this is one that I am super excited to watch. Like you said, we have to treasure uh, these late night Pac-12 games. Uh, I hope this one's a lot of fun. My numbers are close to the market. Uh, I'm just fired up to watch this one. You don't want to bet it, but my God, I do. I think Oregon State is going to run all over this Arizona defense Saturday night. I've got a massive five factors advantage for the Beavers here. I'm going to lay the points with Jonathan Smith and company. Uh, give me Oregon State minus three and a half here. I, I think this Oregon State team is fantastic. So, yes, I will certainly take the Beavers in this spot.